Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. This is part two of the chapter comparing unlike fractions and least common multiple. In the previous lesson, I said that one of the methods to convert unlike fractions to like fractions is to simply multiply the denominators. So what I showed to you was that if you have two unlike fractions like one third and one fourth, then to convert them to like fractions, what you do is you take the denominators, you take both the denominators and you multiply them to get 12. And then you convert one third to something upon 12 right because this is 12 and one fourth also to something upon 12 and how do you find this something is you know for the first fraction you know that to get 12 from 3 you have to multiply it by 4 so then you must also multiply the numerator by 4 and what you get is 4 here so one third is equivalent to 4 12 and for the second fraction to get 12 from 4 what you do is you multiply by 3 and you also multiply the numerator by 3. So you get 3 twelfth. So 1 third gets converted to 4 twelfth and 1 fourth gets converted to 3 twelfth. Now 1 third and 1 fourth were unlike fractions but 4 twelfth and 3 twelfth are like fractions. So then it becomes very easy to show 1 third and 1 fourth on the lasagna or 4 twelfth and 3 twelfth on the lasagna. But this is not the best method. What if you have unlike fractions like 1 sixth and one fourth and what you want to do is put these or represent these on the lasagna then according to this method what you would do is you would multiply six and four to get 24 and 24 is how many slices you would have to cut the lasagna into so actually let's do that let's make one lasagna and cut it into 24 slices okay so let me clear all this space here and make me a lasagna okay so this has been cleared and uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a lasagna and i'm gonna cut it into 24 pieces and we'll see if this is the best method of uh, uh, putting one sixth and one fourth on the lasagna so I have this lasagna here 24 pieces so how about we cut it into six pieces vertically first so one two three four five and six one two three four five and six and then we cut it lengthwise into four long pieces so this is one two three and four so here you go one two three and four okay now first uh, let's convert these fractions one sixth and one fourth to like fractions okay remember these are unlike fractions so one upon six we know gets converted to something upon 24. Now what is this something? To find out this something first we must find out the relation between 6 and 24. So 24, you get 24 when you multiply 6 by 4. So that's what we'll do. We'll multiply 6 by 4 to get 24 and we'll also multiply the numerator by 4 to get 4. And how about this fraction 1 upon 4? 1 upon 4 we know is equal to something upon 24. So this is your something upon 24. How do you get 24 from 4? You multiply it by 6. So then you also multiply this guy by 6. So this guy when multiplied by 6 gives you 6. 1 times 6 is 6. Now, if you represent 4 upon 24 which is actually equal to 1 upon 6 on this lasagna, then how many squares should you cut or how many squares should you color? Well, let's see. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is uh, equal to 1, 6 because it says 4 out of 24 pieces. We know these are 24 pieces because, the, let's count actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 times 4 is 24. So we know there are 24 pieces. Okay, so that's your 1 sixth or 4 24th. And how about 6 24? Or how about 1 upon 4? Let's uh, mark that. And that's equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6 out of the 24 pieces. Fine, so that's done. Now the question that we asked at the beginning of this lesson was, must we cut it into 24 pieces or can we cut it into fewer number of pieces and still be able to mark 1 sixth and 1 fourth on the lasagna? Well, the answer to that is yes, you can cut it into fewer number of pieces and still be able to mark those unlike fractions.
so what i'm going to teach you next is another method which is called the least common multiple method so with the least common multiple what we'll do is we'll find out another number instead of 24 and this least common multiple will be a number that will tell you how many pieces you should cut the lasagna so you can still mark those fractions so let's find out the least common multiple of 6 and 4 because those are the denominators okay so we take 6 and 4 and we want to find out the least common multiple of 6 and 4 but before that what we have to do is we have to first find out the multiples of 6 and 4 so let's go backwards okay we'll first find out the multiples then we'll find out the common multiples and then we'll move on to the least common multiple part so let's find out the multiples of 6 and 4 so to find out the multiples of 6 and 4, just think of the multiplication tables of 6 and 4. So the multiplication table of uh, 6 is 6, 12, 18, 24. Actually what I'm doing here is I take 6 and I multiply it by 1. Then I take 6 and I multiply it by 2 to get 12. Then I take 6 and I multiply it by 3 to get 18. Then by 4 to get 24 and so on. So I keep uh, writing the multiplication table of 6 so I have 6 12 18 24 30 36 then what's next 42 let me clear this space here then I have 48 54 60 66 and so on okay then I think of the multiplication table of 4 to find the multiples of 4 so what is the multiplication table for 4 it's 4 8 12 16 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and so on. So that's taken care of. The multiples have been taken care of. Now what we want to find out is the common multiples. Now what is common multiples? The common multiples means the numbers that are there in both this top row and the bottom row. Okay, so what are the common numbers? The common numbers are 12 and 12 because 12 is present in the top row it's also present in the bottom row then you have 24 and 24 that's common and 36 and 36 those two are, those two are common as well uh, and so on and so forth so the common multiples now we have are 12 24 and 36 let's move on to the third part now which says the least common multiple now what is meant by least well what least means is smallest so we have to find out the smallest of the common multiples we have the common multiples and they are 12 24 and 36 but what is the smallest of these common multiples quite obviously it is 12 because this is the first one is the smallest one so 12 is the common multiple or the least common multiple of 6 and 4 and this guy 12 here this guy 12 here tells you that you must actually slice up the lasagna into 12 pieces instead of 24 pieces so it's saying that you don't really have to cut up the lasagna into 6 times 4 which is 24 pieces it's good enough if you cut this lasagna into only 12 pieces and you can still mark 1 6 and 1 4 on it so how about that how about we take this lasagna and we cut it up into 12 slices and we see if we can mark 1 6 and 1 4 on it okay so how about I get rid of all this and I only keep 12 here because that's our least common multiple so I write down here that LCM or least common multiple of 6 and 4 is equal to 12 and I erase everything else okay so let me take the same lasagna and copy it here and uh, use this to cut it into 12 slices okay so let me get rid of these colors and these cutting lines here okay so now I have the same lasagna as above and what I'm gonna do is cut it up into 12 slices okay so let's cut up this uh, lasagna into 12 slices so let's make three vertical cuts and four horizontal cuts okay so let's cut it into four long slices and three wide slices okay now let's put the fractions one upon six and one upon four on this lasagna now how do you convert one upon six such that it is equal to something upon 12 well what you do to six to get 12 is you multiply it by two so then you also multiply the numerator by two and what you get is two so this one upon six is 
equivalent to 2 upon 12. So let's mark two slices on this lasagna. So that tells you, so that gives you the fraction 1 upon 6 or 2 upon 12. So that's your fraction 2 upon 12 or 1 upon 6. How about 1 upon 4? Let's do the same. For 1 upon 4, we take 1 upon 4 and we convert it to an equivalent fraction that has 12 as the denominator. Okay, now let's uh, see what uh, we had to do. Well, we had to multiply it by 3 to get 12. So we multiply the numerator as well by 3. So we get 3 upon 12. Okay, so now 1 upon 4 is equivalent to 3 upon 12. So that would mean that out of the 12 slices, 1 fourth is equal to 3 slices. So 3 slices meaning 1, 2 and 3 slices. Now if you have to compare this lasagna above and this lasagna below, then can you see that this yellow part, okay, these yellow rectangles combined are equal to these yellow rectangles combined. See now if we combine these two rectangles into one and these two rectangles into one then the total number of rectangles are equal to one and two for the yellow part. Same as these two yellow rectangles here one and two. One and two. So this whole yellow portion is equal to one upon six and so is this one upon six. Except that the top lasagna was cut into 24 pieces and the bottom lasagna was cut into 12 pieces. Yet, the size of the yellow portion doesn't change. The yellow fraction is still the same. The yellow fraction is still one-sixth of the entire lasagna. The same holds true for the pink part here. So the pink part is this one whole stripe, this one whole long stripe. Okay, and... The same holds true for this guy here. It's also this one whole long stripe in the bottom lasagna. If you want, you can also combine these two rectangles into one, then these two rectangles into one, and these two rectangles into one. So the total number of rectangles are one, two, and three for here, and one, two, and three for here. So you see that these three pink rectangles combined are equal to one-fourth, the same as this. It's still one-fourth, except that in the top lasagna, the pieces were cut into smaller size, while in the bottom lasagna, the pieces were cut into bigger size. So you don't really have to cut it into six times four, which is 24 pieces. You can as well cut it into 12 pieces and yet be able to mark these two fractions one-sixth and one-fourth. So the idea is to find the least common multiple which means to find the least number of slices that you must cut the lasagna into to mark the unlike fractions. So that's what you have to do. You have to find the least common multiple and then cut the lasagna and then mark these unlike fractions. All right, so I think I've talked enough about unlike fractions and least common multiple and I hope you'll be able to solve uh, practice exercises uh, and do well. All right, so for practice exercises, as usual, visit www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.